Hi, I just released 0 0.46 of State Adapt. Um, I'm scheduling this video to release a bunch later because I want to. Um, I want to just publish this in the same playlist that I've been scheduling days apart. Um, but I want to like revisit the Real World app and. Uh, yeah, I'll probably add this as part nine, I guess. Bonus, bonus part. Anyway, so I wanna, I wanna see how much. So I wanna, I wanna test it on a real world app, and I want to see how much the code changes. So I'm back here on this one, and this is what we're gonna do. Well, first of all, I noticed something that wasn't implemented ever in my. Um, the one I did it before, and that is hooking up this state change because I was just testing this and noticed that this didn't change. This didn't have any effect when I uh, when I um, went from the home component or or uh, when I was testing. When I clicked on this, nothing was happening, but. I just hooked it up and it worked first time. That's how features should work. That that would be great if features work like that. If you like, it's, it's reactive. All I had to do was say, this is a thing that can change tags. And then this request was switch mapping off of the configuration it uses to display the data. The configuration is influenced by tags. So anything you do to change that state will trigger a refresh. So. Look at that. It's beautiful. I didn't have to code that behavior specifically. That's that's what reactivity does. It reuses things that are already correct. So uh, let's test some more real quick. Um, that seems to be working. What's the tag? I don't know. Post the comment. I never did hook that up, did I? It's not a disaster. It doesn't really matter. All right, now let's go to my articles. We've got H, we've got the comment. Um, this, I don't want it to disappear, but it's, it's using the same adapter anyway, so I think, yeah, the article list. It's been a bit since I've worked on this. Um, profile settings. Oh yeah, didn't want to touch any of this. It's, um, well, we have to test off, don't we? Okay, all right, now let's refresh. Let's do ASDF3, sign in. All right, that worked. Everything's still working. Yeah, I think I've hit pretty much every feature. All right, I want to test that it was working before adding the new version of State Adapt. I wonder how many I've released since here. Two. So let's, uh, what, what did I change in 0 0.45? I don't know, but let's see, fix tags. Um, wire up tag filter. That's a better way to, to describe that. It's not just a general fix. This is actually what I did in that release, uh, the 45 release. That was the uh, setup smaller and then HTTP improvements. So I thought I needed those for this, but that was a different app apparently. Anyway, so yeah, all right. Let's let's do this. Um, npm install <clears throat> and uh, ng serve. Will this freak out? I think. Oh no. Oh good. Use apps. It's not handling that very well. Okay. Uh, what's going on here? What is going on? Why is it? 
auto select. That was weird that it went to that and then got stuck on it. Anyway, uh, yeah, cool. Well, so it's not broken. Um, this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to test it again. So you just are about to see two things. Uh, so let's go home. That works the same. Implementations. That works the same. Uh, what? I wonder if that worked in their app. It probably did. How do I clear this? Refresh, I guess. Huh. Does it toggle? It should. It should toggle. Honestly, it should toggle. But it does not. At least this should clear the tags, right? Is that intended? Is that what it's supposed to do? Where does it navigate? Hmm, list change dot all. Um, well, a quick way to fix this would be, yeah, this was a problem from before, so I guess I just didn't test it thoroughly when I did this. I was sick of it, probably. Okay, so set list type, and then do we keep the filters? Cause oh, here's what the problem was. Um, it's it's the way they set up their their logic here. Like they show it active if there are no filters, but what if you want filters and to be on all like yeah the behavior of this app is kind of weird I don't think that well the way it's set up it's a separate tab so doing this should clear these filters I will go ahead and add that filters here yep and let's we'll put initial Initial list config dot filters. All right, so that added some lines of code, but if we look at this, yeah, fixed it because I guess that's the only change because it was already on all. So whatever. All right, um, so that's another fix. Fix. Uh, tags, no, uh, clear tags, clear filters when click, uh, uh, clicking on after click on after uh, all list click after to uh, after. That's, that's not a navigation. I'm having a hard time naming this. Uh, clear filters after clicking on all lists. That is, that's the best I'm gonna do. <laughs> uh, okay, all right. Now I'm gonna do upgrade to state adapt 0.46. Uh, let's see, let's, let's go delete a post. We never did that, so we're testing two versions at once. Cool, I um, guess it takes me back here. Um, same behavior. I didn't test that last time, so that's good. Looking good, looking good. Yep, everything's everything's looking great. Okay, now I'm going to add these uh, syntax changes. So first one will be 
uh, here. I don't need to do this. We can do the default store provider. Did it update the standard app yet? Huh, these are things that... Huh, uh, let's uh, restart TS server. Let's see if that, that probably will do it. I saw in TypeScript 4.8, they are improving something to do with this. Oh, that's improving files when you switch between Git branches. It's, it's detecting changes easier now. Okay. Hey, got it. Good. All right, TypeScript has been updated. So now we have that. Let's now go look at adapt common. Actually, we can just do a global find and replace with this. Replace. OK, now. Um, don't need to provide that type, so that's a minor convenience that's been added. Okay. Um, stated at 0.45. Okay, and the next one we'll do is improvements from 0.46. So that didn't change any lines of code. But anyway, so this one is going to take more doing and you know, it's it's regressive because uh like This is more, I, I enabled lazier syntax. So this is more advanced syntax. So if a feature changed in the future, we would move to this probably if it became more complex. So it's kind of dumb to do what I'm doing on another project, but this is a way to see how it would be implemented on its own. So I'm gonna look at every source, every pure source in the entire project and I'm going to see how many stores listen to it. Uh, we're gonna do a whole word, so we wanna be the exact thing. So uh, let's do that. What's, what's going on here? Oh, that's a different highlight. So this is only listening once. Okay. This is no more, all right? Only one store cares about this. So we go back here and we do a set list, uh oh, oh, uh, store, where's the store? Set list, oh, article list store. Where, what, how am I defining? Oh, is it here? Aha, right here. So this now, I'm not even gonna, wait, what's going on here? change it's used here um, and that's the only place it's used I'm trying to understand how I'm doing this um, see if this works that's not gonna typescript it's not gonna help me 
So let's try, let's just try this then. Uh, home store dot set, no, change, what, what is it, what is it called? We have, uh, right, right here. Um, we've got this adapter. These are selectors, okay. Set list type, that should be on the thing that's returned from this. What's going on here? What's going on here? I don't like this. This is working in the other repository. Is it really the latest? Look at, let's look at package lock. going on here oh yeah the, it, it was messed up by a lot of things okay so get log one line one oops not get long we don't want to be long uh, let's do two so get diff uh, let's see um, is this a syntax I'm trying why am, I, why am I having a hard time remembering this? This is weird. Oops. Is this what it's called? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so what? Version 46. Right. It should have everything up to date. Let's try restarting again just to see. It, it shouldn't, I mean, it, I already restarted. Hmm, okay, so what do I do if this isn't? If this isn't better, what do I do? Right, right, right. How is this working? Like, I mean, we've got all these things here, all these things we can do. It's inferring all of them. Is it how it's packaged with NPM? That doesn't make sense. I've never had an issue like that. Oh, home store. It's not on home store. Oh, 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 oh. Duh. Okay, my bad. That was a little stupid. So there is one store for article list, isn't there? Oh, here's the thing. Here's the thing. This is annoying because these sources are static. But this store is created dynamically. So we don't want to do this here. <laughs> we want to keep this because we can't get state changes from this store. 
like the default ones. This this has them. And if we go over to wherever this is used, we can use them. But set list, we can't do that here. Why is it? oh what's going on? Is prettier? What's going on with the prettier? There's no prettier here. Oh, there is. 120? Did that just pass 120? Because that's something you don't learn when uh when you uh find and replace. Um Okay, well. Alright, so that's the article facade. I can't change any of these. Well with the list, let's see about these. Uh wait, are there no sources? Oh yeah, there are. But these are used like this. Um, so one thing you could do, if this is actually making a state change, which it's not, we could do is have the state change to loading. Uh, or, or need to load or something. And because we need to get the article, so this would this would switch off. This would use a spy store. Let's see if we're doing that, we should be. It's complex enough. Not on that one, but on the other one. Um, if we were using a, so we could we could look at the state and wait for that state change. Then we wouldn't have this source exactly. Um, that would be that would probably be the first way people implement this. Maybe not, because you have to handle that state change. Whereas with this, you just create a source. So I don't know. Uh, but maybe that's a good thing to handle the state change, because this kind of doesn't make sense by itself. Because yeah, it doesn't change state. It's. It's like an official source, it could be a subject, but um, yeah, that is weird. Published article doesn't change state. So yeah, it's flexible. There are different ways of doing this, but let's see if delete article, if that's used. I mean, it is. Let's listen to a no op uh, because we want the action to dispatch. We probably should be listening to this one actually, at least in a no-op. So, yeah, that makes sense. So we got the, requ the re that's the request probably. So, yeah. All right. So that's good. These are all the same. So it's very server-driven, and this isn't where this this like syntactic shortcut really helps. Um, although when it comes to this, it's maybe an alternative way of doing things. You want to do this re with requests, observables, because, um, man, that's a lawnmower. I'm, I'm excited for lawnmowers to go electric. Anyway, um, half of the lawnmowers in my neighborhood are electric already. So with posting you could use a syntactic shortcut and say, by the way, we posted this and that's in the state and it's pending. So it just depends on how you want to do it. But let's look at some more facades, off facade. Do we have a source? That's a request, that's a request. That's a request. Man, this is gonna be the most boring ever. Um, let's see. Forms facade, that's a good one. Oh, I've already got all the facades here because that's what changed with this change. Ah, cool. Um, let's see if we can, nope, that didn't do anything. Just, I'm just formatting. Air handler facade, this one. Yep, this one works, I think. Nope, you've got an asynchronous flow here that you want because of these stupid side effects. 
So side effects, either write a callback function that dispatches this and does the side effect, or write a source uh, that has a side effect and plug that in. And this is preferable, I think. Preferable, preferred. Okay, forms, this one should be good. Uh, why did I combine the sources like this? That's kind of weird. Oh, this is in a function. Uh, right. Update data, set untouched. Okay, where is this being used exactly? Mm -hmm. Uh, in a lot of places, I think. So, let's just be the last one. Let's do profile and then we'll do that as the last one. So, create profile store, and here we have sources, but it's a request and it's a, a server driven thing. So, all right. For tiny projects, the syntax change actually helps, <laughs> but not server driven ones. So, client side state that's purely client-side, this the syntax will be simpler. Man, it's, it's taking a long time to find the right syntax, but... All right, let's... Um, yeah, close to the right. Find references. Okay, article, edit. Create form store. And we've got sources here store container so in the template is where I do this okay so if I want to do this the shortcut way um, what would I define is store to find on here yet? Or is store something else here? We've got store container. So we can just do container dot store. And then we can look at a console error here. Good. Now here, um, this isn't exciting because you get it from, let's see, store dot, what was it called? Uh, update data. Okay, what about other things, sources? No, that was it. Huh, weird. Okay, well, so that replaced that, and this is for article edit. So now we'll go look at what that looks like now. So let's go to edit this one. Oops, uh, this one. Okay. Look at that. It takes the path of the store because this is the only store that uses this uh, this source and it just does the name of the state change so it works the same wait what oh right 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 I remember how I architected this it's not the form isn't being edited yet go down here it was initialized but to um, nothing because um, nothing's was edited but when what gets sent to the server is a selector that does the latest from uh, well it selects because uh, synchronous I think so it, it selects what the saved article is what the current one is 
and then the form data if there's no form data it sends the old data honestly it should probably just not like if form data is empty if there are no changes then it should just just disable the, the button probably but different ways of doing things I guess all right so that's cool that updated did that make a difference did that no we didn't delete the thing yet well we haven't look here's a sign if you're creating a source here and it's being used in all of them that means each one is individually getting a different source that's defined with the store itself so you can get rid of these so I'm gonna do that and errors that's the only thing that, that gets passed in so okay and at this point yeah yeah this is fine all right so we'll do that and then we'll go and fix all the errors so where else is this being referenced? Oops, reference. Okay, so that's one place. Now let's go to the article facade. Okay, and we're gonna get rid of sources. Oh, this is the container. I'm gonna re rename that because it's. Yeah, that's confusing. Um, oops, D container. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do this. Uh, a store container, store container, store equals. There we go. Now we can update the template where does it do sources just one place um, and what was it called let's look at update data dang it uh, I have to re-grant access that's so annoying um, I'll just do it update data Okay. Great. Move on to the next one. This is going backwards, just to uh, be clear. Um, oops. Did I do store? I don't think I did store on the last one. Let's see. I didn't. Um, how about this one? Yep. Okay, I think we're all right. Right? Yep. Okay, that's that one. Uh, this one is done. What's the last one? Any? Register. This looks the exact same. to get to the template. No. Yes. <laughs> Great. Oh, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for store dot update data. It's not as satisfying without type ahead stuff, so that's too bad. Autocomplete.
and all of this will end up being like two lines of code shorter. So that kind of sucks. But you know, this this was already sort of creating those reusable sources. So this doesn't improve the flexibility of anything or it doesn't remove flexibility at all. It was already using the same sources. So if I wanted to do unique one, I would create another source and pass it in through here. It'd be local to that component. For some reason, the component wanted to change the form data in a specific way. Um, here, uh, settings. This is simpler, I guess. And go to the template. Uh, that hockey is so nice. It's a VS Code extension for what it's called. Store dot update data. I guess we could call it form store, and that would kind of help. But this is like a form, so it's all right. Okay, are we building? We finally are building. That's still working. Aha. Comment. Oh, one of these templates is using it twice. Right, I think, or I don't know. Um, is this going to be profile? Comments, add comment. Okay, where is this? <clears throat> add comment. Let's just see where that is defined. Article component. What? Aha, uh -huh. that, that is, did I not? Okay, I messed that up a lot and I didn't update all these. What did I do? How did I mess that up so bad? Um. That was pretty bad. Okay, the importance of testing. Redux. Aha, there we go. Good. Amazing. Perfect. Yes. Okay, now edit's good. How about new post? I mean, it's the same thing, I think. Yeah, it's working. Settings, here we go. Um, sure enough, it updated with everything as as would be correct. Log out, now we're at the login form. We got our, uh, my super secret password. Could have done sign it, register. Yeah, might as well do register too. What other forms are there? Are there other forms? Pretty sure that's all of them. Yeah. Yeah. This is a pretty simple app still. Just took time to convert anything, but let's see what the changes ended up looking like. Well, that is pre this work. This looks a little different too. Or no, this is the thing that's different here. So anyway, um, dispatch, what is this? Okay. Now, on all the rest of this stuff, 
use uh, synth sources from store form store synthetic sources from form store I call them synthetic sources probably already mentioned that first let's just do get diff stat because it's easier to do here that get diff was useful and when you haven't specified what commit anyway oh that's using oh good one file changed one insertion oh uh we're only going back one okay here we go so 33 deletions 27 insertions minuscule in this app but anyway, I just wanted to show that. I'm going to go ahead and push these up. And OK, now it's out there. The world can see it. So that was a little boring, more boring than I thought it'd be. So I'll go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and finish up this video. But yeah, that was not super thrilling. <laughs> um, but anyway, it was fine. Um, so 27 to 33, that's what it was. Or, or 27 added, 33 deleted. Okay. So it's just a little bit less you have to write the first time you're writing a store. And then once you need a reaction or a source to be shared, then you explicitly create it as its independent thing, its own independent thing. All right. Thanks for uh, watching and uh, See you next time. Bye.